What's up guys, it's Tatman C's back again. Okay, so you wanna be an artist. Well, you came to the absolute most correct place. And the reason for that is, I'm not here to sugarcoat things and hold your hand. I'm gonna tell you the truth, because every day I get people to come watch me work, and every day I hear people say, oh, I wish I could draw. I don't have any talents. I can't even draw stick figures. And to me, that just sounds like I don't have any interest in developing a skill. Because what most people are unaware of is, the only difference between a novice artist and whoever you deem to be a great artist is how much they've developed. And notice I said whoever you deem to be a great artist. Because art is subjective. That person who can't even draw a stick figure could probably sell a billion dollar not stick figure in today's society. But that's another video. When I took art classes in school, I looked at all the other students work and thought, wow, I'm never gonna have a career in art. Fast forward a few years and a bunch of jobs I hate and, and now I'm a full-time tattoo artist. Flash painter, graphic designer, aesthetic genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist, the list goes on. And it's not because I was given a gift or I was born for this. Truth be told, it's all a game of experience. When I first picked up a tattoo machine, I had no idea what I was doing. In fact, the only thing that kept me going was the few bucks I was able to make tattooing my friends. But one day, I finished the tattoo and I just stared at it and realized, wow, I could do this. And in analyzing that tattoo, I realized I avoided all the mistakes that I would have made during my first time. And also added a few extra techniques that I learned from some of my best pieces prior. And then I thought, anyone can do this. It's all about the effort. All right, so you want to become an artist in 2020. Step one, draw every day. Draw every day. Not just once a week, not just in the back of class, not just when you're bored, not when you're high, not when you have nothing better to do. Every day. Every day. Draw every day. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be the same thing every day. It can be something different every day. It can be the same thing that you're working on all year because you only add one line every day. And it doesn't matter what kind of art you're into. We all draw. This step is kind of the Mr. Miyagi wax on, wax off for art. Repetition is the key. Your mind, your eyes, your hands will all get used to doing these same things and they'll get better at it every time you do it. And it'll become natural. Step two, share your art. I can't stress enough how much you need to share your art. And not everything has to be for monetary gain. I do way more free jobs than most people think. And the reason for that is I want people to see my work. I want people to want my work. I want my work to have a home. And if you give it out for free enough, eventually someone's gonna buy it. Example, if I posted a painting and said, I have this painting, it's free, but I only have one. Person A is gonna say, hey, I'll take it. And then person B is also gonna say, hey, I'll take it. But one of them is gonna want it more. So much more that they might just pay for it. And why do you think that is? Because people are followers. It's true. If every person in the world had a cookie except for you, you'd be surprised what you would do to get a cookie. But that's also another video. Step three. Do not stop, don't ever quit. Because truth be told, art is never great without being bad first. Every artist will tell you there's a point in every piece where they struggle and want to abandon shit. But every artist will also tell you it's right after that point that everything starts coming together and the piece basically finishes itself. So don't give up, get to that point, get past that point. You can take a break, you can leave, look at something else, come back, return with fresh eyes. I mean, me personally, I'm working on like 10 pieces at a time. I'll do something here, do something here, do something here, and then by the time I return to the first piece, I can see it with new eyes. Like, I almost see mistakes or things I just didn't see the first time. But never, ever, 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 ever give up. Persistence is key. Step four, reach out, collaborate, network. Put yourself around artists. Inspiration is the only fuel an artist really needs. And if you're in a funk or you're just surrounded by a non-inspiring environment and can't pick up a pencil, go take a look at what another artist is doing. And most likely you'll find yourself in one of two spaces. Either, wow, that sucks and I could do it way better, or wow, that's great, I wish I could do that. But either way, you should get that little push to just do. Step five, this may conflict with step four, but step five is don't listen to anybody. And I could go on for days upon days upon days about this. And if you're really interested, leave me a comment and we can talk. But outside opinions ruin way more creations than they ever help. For example, if you're working on a hat and a guy that makes shoes comes along and says your hat sucks because it doesn't have laces and you're like, oh man, this sucks and you quit, you're an idiot and so is the shoe guy. And then on the other hand, if you're like, wow, you're right and proceed to pile laces on your head, you're still an idiot or a genius. But in any event, you didn't make a hat. The key is to avoid people that don't share the same vision as you. How many times do you tell someone, oh, I got this idea for something and in your mind it's great and they're just like, nah, they shoot it down and then you don't even do it. And then it dies before it even comes to life. So stay away from outside opinions, create what you want to create and don't give up. Being an artist is sometimes seen as like a golden privilege from the gods and so is any talent. And yeah, you can be naturally talented, but being artistic and being an artist are two different things. Action is how you go from stick figures to hyper-realistic portraits. And the easiest way to become an artist is to start. I'll be posting more videos on this topic to my channel. I post at least one video every week for motivational videos, tips, interviews with other artists, and any interesting parts of my own art adventure. If you have a topic you'd be interested in hearing, 
leave a comment. I'm here to help. And make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new content. Tatman Seeds, latest on the menjay. I'm still.